In the course of this series on science versus epistemology, I've come up with two objections to pushing one's inquiries in this general direction, um, going off the grid, as it were, or at least stepping out of the boat, going beyond what we actually know and trying to probe for perhaps a new way or an alternate way of seeing things that uh, might lead to the ability to expand our knowledge of the universe, of existence, reality itself, our knowledge of consciousness in particular. What is it? Well, the first um, objection is, essentially, I'm not interested. That's the objection. It doesn't, uh, when I decide that it interests me, I'll pursue it. Beyond that, well, okay, um, I'm not interested. Well, that's fine. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Um, if people aren't interested, far be it from me to try and provoke interest in them. Um, I um, go over by the park where I work every day in the summer and I see a bunch of people playing chess in the park. People are riveted by the sight of two people playing chess. There's often a fairly large knot of people watching. This doesn't interest me, so I just keep walking. I don't say that these people are wrong. I don't argue with them or try and tell them that this is a waste of time, but I honestly, I don't get it. But whatever, that's your thing. Some people watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I don't understand that either, but I don't tell people not to watch it. It's nothing to do with me. So, um, that's not really an objection. It's more a statement of preference, personal preference. I'm not interested. Okay, well... 99.999% of the human race, in my experience, is not interested in existential or epistemological questions. That's fine. <laughs> um, again, I don't see that as an objection. It's more a, more a reflection of the person who's saying it than about the subject in and of itself. The second one is, we've, we've got enough information beyond reasonable doubt. Um, which kind of says we may not know everything there is to know, but we know enough. Well, the problem with that is, I am not a judge, and this is not a courtroom. <laughs> <coughs> We're not talking about incomplete information that we can't in the very nature of things know about. Because we don't even know that we can't in the very nature of things no. I think that beyond reasonable doubt, or saying that we know enough beyond reasonable doubt, is probably the least sustainable um, of the two. I'm not interested, at least I understand that, because there's lots of stuff in this world, probably too much in this world, um, that strikes most of us as not interesting people collecting stamps. Okay. That I grasp because that's um, that's just a personal preference. We know enough or beyond reasonable doubt we've got enough information? No. I don't buy that at all. And in a sense um, it leaves the whole thing so incomplete that um, you're creating a vacuum, you're creating a gap, you're creating a uh, dead end to speculation and to curiosity that the religious will strut right into. Um, because you've said there is nothing beyond a certain point. Zero. Well, the guy with his long flowing robe and his bishop's mitre and uh, his... Uh, funny gestures, will then say, oh, there is more. Listen to me. I'll show you how wonderful the universe is. Oh, but there's a price, by the way. <laughs> um, saying that I know everything, and to say that we know enough, or beyond reasonable doubt we do, is, in my opinion, not that different. It really isn't. Um, and I've gotten into 
arguments, I suppose, in the past with people I would classify as hardcore Marxists and hardcore religious people on more or less the same subject. You're saying that we um, know enough and that there's no reason whatsoever to go beyond a certain point. Well, okay, that too, if it's a personal preference, that's up to you. But, if you say that one must not go beyond a certain point, then you're straying into completely different territory. When the Catholic Church told Galileo that he must recant, um, you know, and yet it moves, that uh, interesting little scenario, it's making the same kind of statement, if you ask me. We know enough. Don't go any further, because the consequences could be dangerous. Um, that is true to some people that I've come across in this debate. Others simply say, go ahead, waste your time. Um, I intend to do exactly that, waste my time, because, well, there doesn't seem to be anything else to do with one's time on this thing called life, is to waste it. Um, but... Curiosity is a monkey that needs to be fed for some people. It is in their nature. I have that monkey, and it pretty much rules me. I've had to surrender to it long ago. It's stronger than I am. And... That, too, may be simple personality types, I admit that. But it makes me just sort of see the beyond reasonable doubt argument, or we know everything argument, as simply unacceptably puny. Thank you.